This week, we're in one of the UK's favourite holiday destinations, the Lake District, and their next adventure is about to begin. To the new campsite. Today, the campers are heading west, up over Honister Pass. Look at these views. It's a 360-degree view, apparently, up here. And down the coast to the most westerly point of their Lake District tour. Oh, there's the sheepdog, Sav. Oh. In a little-known area called Witcham Valley lies Baystone Bank Farm Campsite. And a traditional vibe is what owner Annie and her son Jamie are trying to create. The fact that it's a working farm, so they see the animals around the place. Then there's the horses plodding backwards and forwards. We're also very close to all the hills and the central lakes, so we are in the national park here, but only just. So we escape what I would term the, the corridor of tourism. I love the idea of a more traditional campsite, so we allow people to have campfires. Oh, mind the chicken! It, it's about people being able to access the countryside, have a fire, sit under the open sky, toast a marshmallow. And no have... Wi-Fi. <laughs> no Wi-Fi. We'll see how city slickers Dawn and Sophia get on without that. Oh, wow. I think we can get our chairs out now. I want mine here. As the afternoon wears on, the tranquility of their surroundings is beginning to seep in. Oh, sir. You're just absorbing, absorbing all those rays. I think it's lovely. It's very quiet, very rural. And I suppose this is more of what the Lake District is about. Welcome to our little campsite. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Um, just a bit of background for you. I bought this farm about six years ago now. Um, my son Jamie's come to join me this year, which I'm over the moon about. So he's sort of... You feel the same? <laughs> Give it a year, see how it goes. <laughs> so to ease you into being here, get to know you guys, and also for you to meet all the team, because we've got um, the guys on the farm, we've put a team together and you guys are going to be the campsite team. We're going to go and play a game of Baystone Bank Farm Rounders. Wow. wow! I was really good at rounders in school, by the way. You can be team captain then. Let's go play. Oh yeah, my God. God. <laughs> to make it more fun, we have got some outfits over there. We've got an ostrich, a bull rider, and a cowboy. They're inflatable. You guys are going to pick three of us to wear these outfits. We are going to pick pick three of you. Um, we've also got a choice of bats. <laughs> I'm going to choose a big frying pan so that I've got a better idea of hitting the thing, all right? Off you go. Chris, Sophia and Chelsea are picked to wear the inflatable outfits. There's no way I'm going to be able to run in this. Yeah. Carolyn, yeah. can you come and uh, assist me in the foot area? The Baystone Bank team is the first to bat. Jamie, no pressure, but you are going to let your family down. Come on, David. Bowl him a fastball. Oh, <laughs> he's just clogged his <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea. <laughs> Catch it, Chelsea. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Blimey, there's no extra points for style. <laughs> So, realising they can't catch, will the campers be any better at batting? Oh, yeah. Definitely using this. <laughs> Who's going first? I think Chelsea should go first. You've got this, Chelsea. Time to ruffle some feathers. And I'm getting ready for a stir fry. Well, first base is a start, I suppose. Dawn's up next. No rounders yet. Time for the old pensioner double punch. That's four rounders to the campers. Right then, come back, anyone? Anyone got any idea what the score is? No? Well, with no one left to bat, the campers have fallen short. Yeah. Baystone Bank takes the victory. Well done. Winner's by dinner, yes? Winner's by dinner. Well done. Thank you. 
It's a new day at Baystone Bank Campsite in the Lake District and our campers have woken up refreshed. Was it relaxing with the rain on the tent? Because yeah. I listen to rain on tent music. Not oh, rain on van. Yeah, can... yeah, no, rain on tent. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? What will they be getting up to today? Well, maybe campsite hosts Annie and Jamie have some suggestions. Did you all sleep all right? Yeah. I slept yeah. fantastic. I bet you did too. So, what are your plans today? I don't know what we're Can doing I give yet. you a recommendation? Of course. As a, as a mum and as an adult since, I've really enjoyed going to the Eskdale Valley. The best way to see it is actually to go on the little miniature steam railway called the Lal Ratty. Okay. Oh, okay. And it's a local word, Lal is little, oh. because it is small. Oh, so cool. I'll leave you with that as an idea. Give Have a mash. brilliant day. Look forward to seeing you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Yeah. Our campers are off to visit one of the UK's best known heritage railway lines, the Ravenglass and Eskdale Railway. Built in 1873 to transport iron ore from high up in the mountains to nearby towns. Hi. Morning. 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 Welcome Morning. to Ravenglass oh. and Eskdale Railway. This is the engine you're going to be travelling on. This is Will and Beck. This is your carriage here behind us. Oh, the first royal, class. the royal carriage, yeah? First class, absolutely. <laughs> Only the best for all of you. Good, good. If you could, make your way round, take a seat, and we'll take you on board. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Building up a head of steam. Has anyone else been on a steam engine before? Yeah, I've never been on one before, so this oh, is the first. Lovely. And there's lots to love about a miniature steam engine. <laughs> oh, I love the smell. Yeah. I love that noise. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Does anyone know where this train goes? It goes up the Eskdale Valley. Yeah. And it has England's highest peak, Scarfell Point. Yeah. It's the only valley in the Lake District that doesn't have a lake. What do you think of the uh, the driver up front? Have you found love in the lakes yet? I haven't seen him where it's cute. The back of his head's lovely. To me, he looks quite steamy. Oh. Oh. Let's get back on track, shall we? So what did you think of the train ride, then? It was good, wasn't it? it was nice and relaxing. It was so relaxing. <laughs> oh. oh, I got it a text. Was lovely. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Hiya, head back to the farm ASAP. I've got a lovely surprise for you, if you can hack it. The campsite hosts have organised some equestrian fun for our campers, but this is no ordinary stable. Annie is a passionate heavy horse breeder and runs the world's only heavy horse riding school. So could they be riding high? So you guys think you're in for some sort of equestrian activity? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mucking out the stable! Yes. <laughs> no, not really. You're going horse riding! Yes. <laughs> oh, you had them fooled there, Annie. Chris doesn't seem his usual joker self. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be all right in a minute. Oh, I'll be all right in a sec. <laughs> Chris was a keen horse rider in his youth, but following a riding accident which led to his own horse being put down, he struggled with getting back in the saddle. Yeah, some of this is a bit difficult, but it's all good, all good therapy, all good, as they say, to just get back on the horse. Nicely done. Time to pair camper to oh, horse. That's it, nice. How do you feel? You look good. So you've got very long legs. I call them um, supermodel legs. They really are. Thanks. You could be the next Naomi cat. Oh, stop. <laughs> One saddled up, they're off. How are you feeling? Yeah, fine. But at a somewhat gentler pace. Chris is looking much happier and is even thinking about future rides with his daughter. My mate has got uh, has just married someone who's got a farm near me and she's got horses. It makes me want to start up again. And I want to get Amelia up on one and kind of like, I think that will help as well. OK, everybody, how are we feeling? Are we feeling confident? Yeah. yeah. To oh, test okay. their nerve, oh, yeah. on, Annie's letting oh, some of the campers have a go at trotting. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, she's getting it. Well done, Chelsea. <laughs> Come on, Andre. Come on. He wants a nap. <laughs> <laughs> have we all enjoyed ourselves yeah. today? Yay! Yay! Well done, everyone. I'm very proud of you. They're not small horses. 
shall we go? Would you two like to lead away? Riding on horseback is a great way to take in the area's stunning scenery. I know why I get so emotional about it. With the ride over, for one camper, today has been an emotional journey. Oh. It's been a while. Um, see, it's definitely brought me back to my childhood. And do you know what? It's a big step, this. You're saying your, uh, your goodbyes yeah. for the day? Yes, 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 yes. Did you make a new friend? Yeah, we're yeah. all good, aren't we? Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm probably ready to start riding a horse again. <laughs>